Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is my queer TBR. So here in the States, June is Pride Month, and I am super excited, there are so many good queer books coming out that I'm really excited to read, so I thought I'd share a few of them with you here. I uh, I love it, and I love that it's during summer, so that you can go out and enjoy the beautiful weather and express yourself, which is amazing. So let's get into the book. The first book that I want to talk about is actually a horror, but very queer, book, and that is This Delicious Death by Kayla Cottingham. This is the author of My Dearest Darkest. So this takes place at like a summer kind of festival or concert. I believe it has heavy themes of cannibalism, which will be a new thing for me, but I, I really enjoyed My Dearest Darkest by this author, which was a dark academia. And like I said, it's really queer and I, I just enjoyed the other one so much. So I thought I would definitely give this book a try. And then along the same spooky vein, I would love to read The Witch and the Vampire. This is another new release this past spring that I believe is a sapphic romance between obviously a witch and a vampire. I don't really remember much past that, but I know that reading the summary, I was really intrigued and really excited. And it, like I said, it'll be perfect for spooky season. I hope to read it in June. But if I don't, I won't get too disappointed because I'll know I'll be really excited to pick it up this coming spooky season. So, like, it's good at any time of the year, but those are definitely the two seasons that stick out. Fake Dates and Moon Cakes. This sounds so cute. I think it takes place during the Lunar New Year, and it is a gay couple, and it just, it just sounds so cute. Like, themes of baking in like a contemporary romance that's queer. Honestly, it has every element that I enjoy in this genre of book, so I have had my eye on this one for such a long time. Another book that has caught my attention quite a bit is Friday I'm in Love. This follows our main character who didn't get the big sweet 16 birthday of her dreams like she wanted, so instead she kind of subs it out by having a big coming out party, a big coming out celebration, which like I think is the coolest thing. I remember coming out to my family and I was like, hey, I'm bi. <laughs> I, I would love to live vicariously through this main character of throwing herself a very prideful party, but at the same time I'm a little nervous because like, you know, books aren't just like one happy event after another, so I am a little afraid, but mostly I'm just really excited to read this. Next up is Adiba Jagirdar's newest book, The Do's and Do Nuts of Love. Again, so cute. So <laughs> this, again, is going to be a sapphic female-female romance, uh, but with a donut baking competition, I believe. I, it's either a baking competition or it's specifically a donut baking competition, but again, themes of baking. It takes place in Ireland, but with South Asian heritage main characters, and I have loved all of Idiva Jagirdar's books that I've read in the past that have been like queer, rom, contemporary, so oh, I just cannot wait for this one. And with donuts, I love making cake donuts in the fall, so this will be perfect for me. Continuing on with the same theme of baking and books, I, I believe, uh, the book is Love and Other Disasters. I have it in my head that there's baking in this book. But I believe it's a female and a non-binary main character. I could be wrong. Again, this came on my radar. I was in instantly super interested in this book, put it on my TBR, have been looking forward to it, looking forward to it, and all this time of looking forward to it, I've forgotten everything about it. So I just know that this is on my TBR and it's gonna be a good rom-com that is queer. The final queer book on my TBR for this year is a perfect summer book that has been out for a little bit now and I cannot believe I have not read it and that is In Deeper Waters. This is like pirate merman-y kind of situation and yeah, you see why it's perfect for summer. Light, easy, breezy, pirate, gay romance. 
I'm so ready for this. Yeah, honestly, those are all the books. I'm sorry I did not give a very good description of, like, any of these books, but for the most part, when it has themes that I know I'm gonna love, it doesn't take a lot to pass that to convince me to want to pick up the book, and I, I'm setting seasonal TBRs for myself, but I am not doing monthly TBRs anymore. I just don't want to be put under that pressure. I'm such a mood reader, but I really wanted to do one for Pride Month because I am excited to read any and all of these books and there is still enough variety between them that no matter what, mo what mood I'm in, I'm probably going to want to pick up at least one of them. And yeah. So thank you all for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you will be reading in the month of June or if you have any other recommendations for me. I'm always looking for bisexual recommendations. While you're down there, feel free to hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so that you're notified when I post because I am posting videos once a week over the summer. And if you want more content from me, I do have bookish social media link down below that you can get that content from me. So again, thank you all for watching and until I see you in the next video, I wish you happy reading.